Hey everybody, I'm Jim and this is Ricky. And in this video, we're gonna talk about buying and flipping niche websites. We, this is on the mind because recently we bought, da 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 da, dirtbiketipsandpicks.com, which had 30,000 page views a month, and we moved it over to dirtbikeplanet.com. Um, and so in this video, we're gonna talk about what we look for in buying a niche site, how much to pay for a website, how to find them, and then once you buy a website that you're gonna flip, how to make your money back fast. Um, you know, we've had good and bad experiences with this. Um, I bought knifeup.com for $32,000 and literally in two hours, I sat down to the computer, I flipped some switches because I knew there were some major problems with this website and like within two months, it started earning over $5,000 a month. So I earned back my investment like lightning and since then I've earned it back, who knows, maybe 10 times. Uh, since I bought it. That's what we want to do. This is awesome. Uh, so we want to show you kind of our process for doing yep. that. So first thing let's talk about is how much should you pay for a website? How do you value a website? Um, Empire Flippers, who um, is, is a good, reputable broker for websites, the way they value a website, and this is kind of the way we look at them too, is we look back at the previous several months. Um, they're looking at 12 months even of income now. Um, so 12 months of net income from the site, profit from the website, okay? They're gonna take the average of those 12 months and multiply it by a multiplier, depending upon if the site's growing, if it's shrinking, whatever. That multiplier is usually somewhere between about 24 and 38, okay? And it just depends on how good it is. Right. I mean, if it's just rock solid, you know, you have, you have people like on a recurring payment, like a membership oh, yeah. site or something, whoo, those are gonna go for a higher multiple. You know, if things are really squirrely in your numbers each month, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, then, then it, it, people are going to be less likely to buy buy it. So but that's going to give you kind of a range of, of mm -hmm. numbers to look for. So usually, somewhere around thirty is a pretty pretty normal multiple. Yeah. So if my website's earning one thousand dollars a month, it's going to sell for about thirty thousand dollars. All right. Um, how to find websites to buy? This is the real difficult part of this. If you're just starting out, go to empireflippers.com. Go to, I mean, you could use Flippa, but we just find so much spam yeah, on, a lot of spam on websites. Flippa. Uh, Empire Flippers is much more vetted. You can get scammed on on Empire Flippers. You can. Yeah. I have been. But <laughs> I, I generally feel safe buying it. The company is rock solid, but, you know, they do their best with due diligence, and sometimes a bad one slips through. Um, so it's by no means guaranteed, but I, I really like the company, and they're doing a good job. So you can just go to their marketplace of websites that are sold that are being sold. So we want to kind of shop for one with you right now, and we'll show you kind of the things that we look for that make us say, "Whoa, let's put some money on this. Let's buy it." Yep. All right. Well, I'm just gonna click a random one. Random one. This is in the kitchen and bath niche. It doesn't tell us what the actual .com is until we pay a deposit on it, and then they'll give us all the information. They don't want people to steal people's ideas and stuff. Okay, so these, this uh, is the graph of income and page views and everything um, for the website. So when I look at this, the number one thing that has me concerned is look at this graph. I mean, it's growing really fast, which a lot of people would see as a good thing. Honestly, to me, bad thing. I don't wanna see growth. I don't wanna see a downturn. What I wanna see is just flatline. When it's flatline, it's consistent. That means you can pretty well rely on, if you just are patient enough, you're gonna get your money back. Yeah, what you don't know with that growth is did they do something that caused a spike that's gonna go away next month? Or is it just because the website's so new that, that their traffic is just hit that growth curve, okay? Yeah. And this you can't web, tell for at least several more months. And this website was made in August 2016. That's not old enough. Mm -hmm. It's not at old enough for me. I want to see a website that's at least two years old before I'm going to buy it. That most of the content has some age to it, like a fine wine, which is funny because we don't even drink wine. <laughs> um, but the reason that I want to see that is because just things change during that first year. You don't know what's happening. I want to see flatline if I'm buying a website. I don't want to pay for somebody's spike that's going to go away. I want to see flatline. That's that's really exciting to me when I can see that. The other reason is we're, we were looking at these, and I mean, you see so many of them. 
that are just all over the map. Uh, when you look at these, like, look how squirrely that you is. Got this spike in traffic here. This this brownish line is traffic. It spikes here again, and then whoa, what's going on? It just doesn't. You just see them all over. It doesn't comport. We've owned so many websites now, and it doesn't comport with what we normally see. Usually we see traffic go up on a slow grace, and then it'll plateau if you're not adding content, usually for a long time, and then after a period of years, it'll start to slowly go down. Mm -hmm. We aren't seeing this in our, <laughs> in our graphs very often, and so when we look at these, we say, hmm, you know, did they do some crazy link building campaign, spam this all over social media for a couple months? I don't like that. I just, I don't know. Okay. So, but Empire Flippers, I think, is a very solid place Solid place to go. Another place to look is just looking for old blogs. And yes. this is how we found dirt bike, tipsandpicks.com. Right. Um, I was just, I was interested in creating a niche site about dirt bikes, and I happened upon one that said, this blog is for sale. And I was like, yes! <laughs> it was like, awesome! Um, so... Uh, it was listed, I want to say it was like 10... You wanted like nine or $10,000. Wanted 10000 and we offered 6750 is what we bought it for. Honestly, we could have got it for less, I think. But we were so positive we could make an, uh, make an income off this that it was going to be turned in our favor that we didn't want to like get into this negotiation and kill the deal. Yeah. Because, even, I mean, with 30,000 page views a month, he was earning $3,000 a year from it that's nuts you should be earning a thousand dollars a month if you have 30,000 page views you just should um, so we knew we could do this and we just didn't want to lose it on some dumb negotiation right. yep so and that was funny too because in that case um, his uh, he had a contact form to go by the site oh this was sad and and um, we filled out the contact form didn't hear anything back so what do we do we went to whois.com and we did a search to find out who owns the website. Um, fortunately, he hadn't paid for you know um, domain privacy. So, um, yep, and, and anybody can do this, okay? You can search just whois.com. And um, yep, you look up Income School. I think we got domain privacy on there, so um, it's just gonna show up as- But like, usually it'll show, it. it'll say, this yeah. is owned by Ricky Kessler, his address, here's, his email, his here's phone email. number. So we emailed the guy directly, okay? And this guy had been sitting on this website waiting, wondering he, if nobody was... Yeah, he said he was selling it for two years and yeah. nothing. And the contact form was broken. In fact, Ooh. we bought it. A week later on Facebook, somebody sent us a message um, because we took over the Facebook page too saying, um, hey, I'm interested in buying your website. And I was like, oh, sorry, we just bought it. I'm going to take that down. He's like, yeah, I think your contact form is broken. <laughs> Turns so we out, looked in the logs and we found out where those contact forms were going. Lots of people had shown interest in the website. So the guy kind of missed out. And some of them had offered $20,000. Yeah, so, <laughs> but okay, so here's the thing. The moral of that story is, um, if you find an old blog that has not been updated in at least a few years, and you think, you know what? This is something I'd be really interested in. I'll bet I could take this content. Um, I don't know what their traffic is, but I bet I could take this content and I could run with it. It doesn't look like they're doing anything with it. Go look up the owner on Whois and just say, hey, I want to talk to you about buying your website. Are you interested? Yeah. Okay. And and what I would recommend with that is do not email. Because I've tried this so many times and people just think you're a spammer. Yeah, and that's I, true. So usually what I'll do is I'll look them up and I'll find their Facebook profile and I'll message them and I'll say, hey, I know this is kind of weird. I don't want to fend you or anything, but I'm really into dirt bikes. I just got one for my kid um, and I'm also a blogger. You know, I just love to take over the blog. You've done an awesome job with it. Uh, would you have any interest whatsoever in selling it? You know, just make make it super clear that you're an actual human being. Yep. Um, and then you, you stand a much better chance. I've never had somebody respond to an email. Uh, so I'll find their Facebook profile or, you know, you get your, your IQ. Number, the, yeah. Who has, we were texting a guy. Yeah. We wanted to buy manliness.com. Yeah. Oh, we tried <laughs> so hard to buy yeah. manliness.com. <laughs> and we texted him back and forth and he just wanted too much money. Yeah. Um, but... Text, Facebook, don't email. Yeah. All right. Um, so the next thing that we're looking for in a website, other than that rock solid consistency, and oh, and also when you're doing that, go get similar web. This is just a browser plugin that I have. You can see it here. 
Uh, so go to whatever website you do. And if you just want an approximation of how it's much traffic be... they have, look on there. Uh, it's not going to be on. But, man, yeah, it's the best tool that I've found. You know, if it says 200,000, it could be anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000. But it's in the ballpark. Apparently, whois.com gets about 2 million page views a month. Yeah, they probably do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so, yeah, just get an idea of the traffic. See if this is even worth buying. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but it's, it's awesome when you can do this. The other thing, uh, other than age, we want a little bit of age to the domain name. And then the uh, one that we're that's exciting to us that puts us close to the buy button is when there's low hanging fruit. Uh, for example, usually this happens when the traffic is high traffic, low income. Yep. High traffic, low income is beautiful because you can just flip switches for monetization. You know, they haven't incorporated ads on the website. I'm going to go to AdThrive.com, and I'm going to sign up, and I'm going to get ads on there. Dirt Bike tips, tips and Picks didn't have a single link to Amazon. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> when, when we saw that there was no Amazon Associates, we are like, we're buying now! Go, buy! Um, yeah, so when there's some kind of crazy low-hanging fruit, KnifeUp.com had 200 orphaned pages. You, They were written on there, but there was a mess up with the WordPress theme that you actually couldn't navigate to those pages. Mm -hmm. And so it was just orphaned content. And it was like, awesome, of course I want that because I can flip a switch and it's done. So if there's a low-hanging fruit, it get, puts me really close to that buy button because it, there's always the possibility, and we've done it a couple, we've done it where you make a change and you got your money back now. Um, so it really nice. Yep. Uh, the red flags to look for, for me are link scariness. If there's been any kind of PBN used to build up the domain, they've obviously done some backlinking for this website. I, I'm probably out unless it's really light, uh, just because I'm playing the long game. I, I don't want a crash and burn website. I want something that's going to be around for years and that Google isn't going to deactivate all of a sudden. We're playing the long game. Yep. Um, yeah, that's really one of the big... Um, and we've already kind of pointed out some of the other ones. Um, big spikes in traffic, spikes and drops in income. Yeah. And then also we mentioned the very sudden growth at the very, you know, the last month or two yeah, before I don't like selling. That. They're just, you know, why would you sell right when you're starting to take off unless you think it's going to go away? Yeah, most people are excited by that. They say, whoa, yeah. look what it's going to be the next month. They, yeah. they put the, they connect the dots. They're like, oh, uh -huh. look what it's going to be yeah, the next trend month. trend going upward. And Not necessarily. Usually there's a problem if that's happening. All right. So now why would you buy a website? Why would you sell a website? So... Buying a website, I think, um, is a little bit more obvious, okay? Um, you you want to get a consistent income now. Maybe you've got some cash. Maybe you have access to some money. Um, or you want to work on building up a portfolio, especially if you see some low-hanging fruit or a site that has a lot of potential to flip. Um, absolutely, you know, build up your network of niche websites. Um, lots of good reasons to go buy a website. It's going to be long-term passive income. Mm-hmm. Um, there are also reasons to sell. I yeah. used to kind of be of the opinion that you're just dumb to sell a website if it has consistent income. But, you know, some opportunities have come up that it's made sense for me. Um, for example, I sold pontoonguide.com. Rock solid site. I knew it would be earning income for a long time. But I sold my boat. And I wasn't really interested in boating anymore, so I knew I wasn't probably going to be writing any more articles. Now, I could just write on what it had done, um, but it was also the end of a season, so the income was really good right at the time. And so I knew it would sell for a pretty good amount, and it did. Um, and so for me, like, you know, it would have been fine to keep it, but eh, it kind of made sense to just get the money right then. And then I took that at the end of a year and I just chucked it straight into my investments and now it's going to be earning compound interest as I uh, put it in mutual funds. So there are times that selling a website makes sense. To me though, it makes more sense to start with selling websites when you have a portfolio. Right. If you have one website, hmm, I, hmm, I don't know if it's really going to make a lot of sense unless you just, you know that, hey, hey this website's going down and then it's I don't know. You got to be kind of honest with the guy who's buying it, though, too, right? If you know, yep. if you have some kind of special knowledge about why it might be going away. So, yep. 
So that's buying and selling websites. If you're interested in buying a website, find something you're thinking about, you can go to incomeschool.com and click on niche site school. Generally, this is for building a website, uh, but we, you really can use the exact same thing if you're buying a website and starting it that way. You'll get a consultation from us. We'll go through the website and help you look at some things. And also the, the 60 day email program of what to do to build a site. That's exactly what we do when we buy, build it, buy it. When we buy a site and, and we want to improve it, flip it. Right? Exactly. That's Same what process. we're doing right now with dirtbikeplanet.com. Yep. So hope this video was helpful. If you can find a site to buy, it really uh, it's fun because you don't have to wait the painful eight to ten months <laughs> waiting for traffic. So it's fun if you can do it. Uh, often expensive, but you know you look around and sometimes you find a steal of a deal. And if you do, jump on it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.